Welcome everyone, I took about a one month hiatus and I'm back, I'm dusting everything off my fucking shoulders, I'm not PG as I once stated in my, in my um, earlier broadcasts, I'm taking, this is a new beginning for high risk, a new beginning for awakening kills, and a new beginning for awakening kills entertainment, I'm blocking out everybody, I'm a big fan of uh, Black Ops, but now that I don't have the map packs, I'm going to focus back on Awakening Kills Entertainment, and we're going to have fun tonight, as this is a Extreme Rules match, as it's M. Bison, that guy from Street Fighter, Dr. Dalsium, and now some multiple headshots right there by Dr. Bison, and I, and I might be a little bit rusty coming out of Black Ops, I am now working full time as a SmackDown Superstar, as we all know it. Oh, what a SmackDown Superstar, as we all know it. Oh, what a now, what is this? Some kind of a high cross, shaped of the late great King Sheamus, as it's reversed into an arm drag. High risk finds his way to the outside, and both of them do a Triple H suck it sign, and don't miss Triple H against the Undertaker at WrestleMania 27, King. And now, what is this now? He looks like he's going for a Pale Justice R High Cross. And once again, it's reversed. And now it's just stomping the feet right to the chest. Lower abdomen of high risk. And now another kick to the chest as Emma Bison has some kind of a spinal tap kick at the back of high risk. And now he lifts him up. And now an RKO this early in the match. Could have a strong play on high risk as high risk gets back up to a uh, vertical base, picks up his opponent. And uh, what is this? Looks like a power slam right here into a pinning combination, is it? And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the first pinfall of the damn season. And there it is, and a nice toe kick, a nice Triple H knee attempt, and then another one. And as they both try to find one, they both miss as referee Mickey Hinson is getting in the way of both men. And now what is this, ladies and gentlemen? Pyrus drops John Morrison, speeding back, Taekwondo, leg drop, lifts up M. Bison. And what is this now, ladies and gentlemen? Perhaps a strong Mortal Kombat uppercut, shades of the late and great Sub-Zero false Phil. Now what is this now? A Wasteland, Shades of Wade Barrett, who will lead his team at WrestleMania 27 this year. And now what is this? A punch right there to the back at high risk. Multiple reversals. And there it is once again, ladies and gentlemen. Took the words right out of my mouth. As high risk is going over to his loyal WWE fans and getting the fans on his side. Getting, trying to get the momentum right where it belongs. And still taunting to his loyal fans here in Chicago, Illinois. Both men taunting. Trying to get momentum, trying to get their finishing move. As we know it. There's some more taunts being displayed by both men. Perhaps that's the last taunt of the night. Has smart strategy being displayed right here by yours truly. And now some kind of a glitch, but it's sideswept into, a, into another Triple H knee. Both men have a Triple H suck it sign, a taunt perhaps. Pyrus trying to patten up the right knee. Now here we are, back to where we started. I'm sure that Harry wouldn't be disappointed back to where we all started. Now what is this? Another wasteland, the second wasteland of the night, perhaps the last, as he lifts up M. Bison, as what appears to be a Pell Justice attempt once more down Superstar, as we all know it. Now, what is this? Some kind of a high cross, shaped of the late great King Sheamus, as it's reversed into an arm drag. High risk finds his way to the outside, and both of them do a Triple H suck it sign, and don't miss Triple H against the Undertaker at WrestleMania 27, King. And now, what is this now? He looks like he's going for a Pale Justice R high cross, and once again, it's reversed. 
And now it's a stomp at the feet, right to the chest, lower abdomen, up high risk, and now another kick to the chest as M. Bison has some kind of a spinal tap, kick at the back of high risk. And now he lifts him up, and now an RKO this early in the match could have a strong play on high risk as high risk gets back up to a uh, vertical base, picks up in his opponent. And now what is this? Looks like a power slam right here into a pinning combination, is it? And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the, the first pinfall of the damn season. And there it is, and a nice toe kick, a nice Triple H knee attempt, and then another one. And as they both try to find one, they both miss as referee Mickey Hinson is getting in the way of both men. And now what is this, ladies and gentlemen? High risk drops to John Morrison, speeding back, Taekwondo leg drop, lifts up M. Bison. And what is this now, ladies and gentlemen? Perhaps a strong Mortal Kombat uppercut, shades of the late great Sub-Zero Foster Phil. You know, what is this now? A Wasteland, Shades of Wade Barrett, who will lead his team at WrestleMania 27 this year. You know, what is this? A punch right there to the back at high risk, multiple reversals. And there it is once again, ladies and gentlemen. Took the words right out of my mouth. As high risk is going over to his loyal WWE fans and getting the fans on his side, getting, trying to get the momentum right where it belongs and still taunting to his loyal fans here in Chicago, Illinois. Both men taunting, trying to get momentum, trying to get their finishing move, as we know it. There's some more taunts being displayed by both men. Perhaps that the last taunt of the night. That smart strategy being displayed right here by yours truly. And now some kind of a glitch, but it's sideswept into, a, into another Triple H knee. Both men have a Triple H suck it sign, a taunt perhaps. Pyrus trying to patent up the right knee. Now here we are, back to where we started. I'm sure that Harry wouldn't be disappointed back to where we all started. Now what is this? Another wasteland, the second wasteland of the night, perhaps the last, as he lifts up M. Bison as what appears to be a Pell Justice attempt once more, but it seems that he can't get the Pell Justice right where he wants him, ladies and gentlemen. That is the third Pell Justice attempt of the night, and it didn't go nowhere as he found nobody home tonight. And perhaps another crucial mistake crucial mistake and now what is this he blocked his signature move smart strategy right there by yours truly perhaps go for another pill justin yeah this time that he connects and there it is heidi ho heidi fucking ho and now what is this so kind of a heart punch your typical move right there, your typical noob move, I should say. And now another running power slam. It looks like pinfall attempt, foot on the rope, extreme rolls. That roll does not apply. It looks like he has a turbo controller as if. And another John Morrison spinning Taekwondo leg. Great action right here tonight. And another Triple H knee. Getting the fans on his side and a reverse right there as I saw that coming my damn shit. Get this loser out of, out of my face. And now what end is this? Kicks right there to the face of M. Bison. As things ain't looking good right here for M. Bison. And there it is. A reversal. Oh. I dropped this stick. And they pick your friend up with the fucking sponge. Alright, now that's it. And now what's this? A damn small package right here by high risk. Referee, do your damn job in a one count right there. Turbo controller right damn there. And, and, and now another heart punch. Connecting. Triple H knee knocks him square down on his track. And now these Randy Orton stomps. This could be the end of the match right here tonight. As he's making his way over to the front. 
and now perhaps freezing his opponent. Now this is a message to everybody out there on the SmackDown vs. Raw online community. I'm not taking no more crap from anybody this year. I'm fresh out of shot doing a buck 20 switches from lane to lane and I'm not and I'm not putting up with it this year folks. I am playing dirty and yeah. So say something out everybody. Now Mexican Pride out there if you're watching this is a message ex directed especially to you. The whole SmackDown vs. Raw online community has just blocked me. You know, they just pushed me away from them, their skin. And I don't like it one bit. As High Risk freezes his opponent right here tonight. And perhaps gonna look for his finishing move and perhaps pin him. Oh, mama. oh no I'm not. The damage is definitely been and now a Triple H knee yeah, drop right there. As, as, as that freeze is not all is not always helpful. And now a small package. And there it is, a two count. And a Triple H knee attempt finds nobody home. Stopping this assault for the moment. Trying to trying to replenish, so to speak. Under the rules of a notice qualification match. Looking for a power slam into a pinning combination. Can it be? Will it be? Trying to find a desperate win right here? And no, it's not. The terrible controller is being displayed as we know it. And another heart punch right here. Being displayed right here by high risk. Nice momentum and a nice uppercut. And now a nice toe kick. Triple H knee attempt. Finds nobody home. And a nice backbreaker right there by M. Bodies and things are looking great tonight. It's a brand new season of Awakening Kills Entertainment. And I'm having fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The voice of all online right here tonight. It is a privilege to call this action as it unfolds. And my great video quality has gotten better. Now the referee is down as Bison finds his way to the outside and lifts up here truly. Going for a sit out last right it looks like. Damn near on the steel steps and on the steel steps if that. Now going under the ring trying to find something that he could very well use. Now he blocks it as he got the damn kendo stick, and there it is, drops the stick. A big mistake right there by M. Bison, a very crucial mistake, and another Triple H knee. Now that goes to show you that anything can happen here in the online industry. And another power slam attempt, followed by a hook of the leg right there by yours truly high risk, and there it goes. And a one count, turbo controller being displayed. Now John Morrison leg drop right there. And now he reverses his signature move as I saw it coming. And I want and I want is this again torture rack? As he lets go of the torture rack. And now what is this? Perhaps another freeze, it looks like. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so Another freeze and another quick lateral press attempt. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What an unpredictable way to kick off the newly and improved Awakening Kills Entertainment. I have returned. And I'm back for good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back on the SmackDown vs. Raw online industry. I'm going to be calling action from here on out from SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 all the way up to 2027. I'm going to be the voice of SmackDown, the voice of online. When I die, you people at home are going to remember me if that. Now let's take a look at the final records of the match. If you can see clearly, TJD Smurf defeated by yours truly X High Risk also known as Awakening Kills, right here on YouTube.com. Thank you everyone for welcoming back 